Hi, this is a guide to creating a bootable clone backup with ProSoft Data Backup 3. This is a great backup method as it gives you the ability to boot your Mac from your clone to troubleshoot severe issues. Once you have Data Backup 3 launched on your Mac, to get started, we click File, and then we choose New Backup Set. Now, for backup options, make sure the backup type that you choose is Clone. For sources, we're going to click the plus over here on the left and then locate your internal boot drive, which by default should be named Macintosh HD. Once you select it, click open. Now we must choose the destination for the clone. Make sure that the destination type is volume. To choose a destination, click select, and now you have to locate the volume that you want to clone to. We named the volume clone backup for our external hard drive. Once you select the volume, click open. Now in destination options, make sure create new folder is unchecked, and for missing items, we're going to choose delete. Now that we have gone through all the backup options, we can go ahead and click Start Now. If your destination isn't empty, you may get this warning. Make sure that any items on your destination volume that are important are backed up. And once they are, go ahead and click OK. We'll be asked to save the set before running. Uh, go ahead and click Save. Choose a name for your set. We're going to choose the default name that was given and click OK. And once you click OK, the backup should begin to run. And it will start transferring files to the volume that you chose as a destination. Once your clone backup has completed successfully, you should now be able to boot from the clone. So to, once it's finished, go ahead and click OK. And then an easy way to boot from the clone is to go to System Preferences, choose Startup Disk in System Preferences. And once we're in Startup Disk, we're going to choose the volume with the clone backup as the startup volume. Once you select it, go ahead and click Restart. Once we click Restart, we're going to get prompted if we want to restart the computer using OSX on the volume on your clone backup. Go ahead and click Restart. And once you restart, your computer will boot from the clone. This will conclude the tutorial for creating a clone backup. Have a great day.